Alright, the first thing to do is open the terminal app. So simply right click the start button and then select terminal. And then from that point, go ahead and type power cfg slash battery report. And then there you go. This will generate a report of your computer's battery condition. Great. So now to access that battery report, go ahead and open your main hard drive. So right click the start button and then select file explorer. And then from that point, choose your main hard drive. It's the one that has the windows logo on it. So click that and now click on users and then click your main account. And there you go. You should see it. It's called battery report. So go ahead and click that file. And there you go. This is the information you need about your battery's health. Okay, here's the point. Here's how to use this info to know the health of your battery. Two things to pay attention to, cycle count and capacity. Cycle count is basically how many times your battery has been recharged. So of course, the more you recharge it, the more it wears down over time. So for cycle count, the lower the number, the better. Now for capacity, there is design capacity and there is full charge capacity. Design capacity is basically how much maximum charge it was originally designed to hold. And full charge capacity is how much maximum charge it's able to hold right now. So therefore, in this case, the higher the number of the full charge capacity, well, the better off it is. So if you notice that your laptop is draining quicker than it originally did, that may indicate a lower capacity and so therefore you may consider buying another battery for your laptop or tablet. So this info really helps a lot. For more videos like this, subscribe. Thanks for watching.